crowd roared. Jackie tried to block them out to see only the ball, to feel only the ball, but Babe Ruth was facing her down, determined not to let a girl make a fool out of him. She flinched right before the next pitch, and the umpire called a ball. Hmm. The babe snorted. You can do it, Jackie told herself. Girls can throw. Show them. But the, another, uh, the next pitch was another ball. The crowd was hooting and jeering, just like we put in the problem. She felt her fingers tingling around the ball. She felt its heft in her palms. She felt the force of her shoulder muscles as she wound up for the pitch. She remembered what her dad had told her. Go out there and pitch just like you would pitch to anybody else. He liked to. Now the bait was mad. This was serious. The babe was striking out and the pitcher was a girl. Look at his face. He does not look happy. What? Did she really just throw two strikes? Jackie wasn't mad, but she wasn't scared either. She was pitching, really pitching. And it felt like something was about was happening the way it always meant to. She knew the batter would expect the same pitch, close and high, even if the batter was Babe Ruth. So this time, she threw the ball straight down the middle with all the speed she could put on it. Good reading there. You guys made your boys sound just like an umpire would. Babe glared at the umpire and threw the bat down in disgust. He told reporters that that would be the last time he'd bat against a woman. The crowd was stunned. A girl had struck out Babe Ruth. It couldn't be. It was a mistake, a fluke. But what would the paper say tomorrow? But wait, here came Lou Gehrig up to the plate. He'd show her. He, she couldn't strike him out too. Lou Gehrig swung with a mighty grunt, but his bat hit nothing but air. He looked stunned, then he dug his heels in and glared at Jackie. Jackie grinned. She was doing what she worked so hard and long to do, and nothing could stop her. She pitched the ball the way she knew best, a lefty pitch with a low dip in it. No one could touch a ball like that when it was thrown right. Let me hear a really good one, guys. The right three. The crowd, so ready to boo her before, rose with a roar, clapping and cheering. You guys put it in solution. You were right. Now the crowd is on her side. I did it. Thanks, Ellie. Your brain was doing a lot of work there. <laughs> back to back, Jackie had struck out two of baseball's best batters, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. She'd proven herself, and now the fans loved her for it. But Jackie didn't hear them. She was too proud and too happy. She'd done what she'd always known she could do. She'd throw, shown the world how a girl could throw as hard and as fast and as far as she wanted. So, I want you to look at this last page. See if you can see that black and white picture in the back. She's fixing a car. So, she's fixing a car, I think. It's just a, a woman leaning up against the car. And who do you think this woman might be? Jackie. That's the real Jackie Mitchell. This is a true story. So, let me read you the true story. It's a true story. So she strikes out Babe Ruth. Yeah, let's read it and yeah. find out what the, what the um, author tells us. After Jackie Mitchell's famous game against the Yankees, the baseball commissioner voided her contract. That means the baseball commissioner said she can't play anymore. He said he was protecting her since baseball was too tough for women. Despite being banned from playing, Jackie continued to pitch for small teams. Nearly five years, she traveled the country pitching her best. She played against men's teams, and she did have a chance to pitch against the St. Louis Cardinals. Realizing she'd never pitch in the World Series, Jackie returned home to Chattanooga and gave up baseball. But she continues to be known as the girl who struck out Babe Ruth. So it's a true story. Babe Ruth really got struck out by this woman, Jackie Mitchell. Has anybody ever been to the Baseball Hall of Fame? It's a really cool museum. I went to the football hall of Fame. Well, there's one for baseball, and you can see all about Jackie Mitchell's life in um, in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah? Is she still alive? She's not alive anymore, but there are, you can see all sorts of stuff about her. Yes, Callie? Um, we, 
So we were watching this movie, the league, the league of their own, yeah. and then girls played baseball when the boys were teaching for the army, and then the girls got signed to the baseball hall of fame. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Great movie called um, League of Their Own. So let's take a look at our words. Are there any that we might, might need to move around a little bit? What do you think, Calvin? Only 17 years old. Okay, where would you move only 17 years old? Characters. To characters? You could move it because it described her. So it described Jackie Mitchell. You could move it there. Any others you might move? What do you think? Strike one. Strike one? It's a solution. It's a, you're right. Remember, Trent had said, it's a problem if you get a strike. And I said, it's a problem for the batter. But this book was told from the pitcher's point of view. So it's really a part of the solution. Hmm. And one more I want to talk about. You throw like a girl. Originally, we said that was a problem. It's a solution. Tell me why you're thinking that, Calvin. Because she never gave up. She never gave up. She practiced. She was determined. She wasn't nervous. What do you think? I think because um, she never gave up and she tried her best mm -hmm. at stuff and she was actually a good pitcher because why would you say if she's a good, she's a bad pitcher if she strikes out on Babe Ruth? Right, mm -hmm. so was, most people say you throw like a girl and they mean it to be an insult or something that's not very kind. Mm -hmm. But really, the author is telling us it's pretty awesome to throw well, how like do a they, girl. How do they know that she can throw? How do they know that she's a bad thrower? Well, they just were guessing because they were thinking she's a girl, so she can't do it. But they were wrong. That's why the crowd was hooting and jeering at first, but then they were clapping and cheering because they were saying, "Yeah, girl, you go, you can do it." Yes. And Callie's a girl, and she can throw pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine she she's a good she's a basketball player. Really yeah. good basketball player. So am I. Pretty good hockey player. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really good. Really good. Yeah, we got, to, we got to play baseball with Nils the other day in the yeah. park just because we were playing. Lucky. Yeah. Yep. And what? then my mom ordered me a, a batting helmet and she ordered me four stickers hmm. and I put them on the batting helmet. Well, you guys, your brains did so much hard work. You know what we say in our house when yeah. your brain does a whole lot of work? What do we say? We say, can you tell everybody in your class? To go. So when we do, wait, what? When our, oh, when our brains have done a lot of work, this is yeah. what we do. We go, kiss, kiss your, your brain. brain. You guys want to kiss your brains? <laughs> no. Thank you for reading. Yeah, yeah. This is how you kiss your brain. You whip your brain 